Greetings, everybody, and welcome to our devotions today. I think most of us have an incredibly heavy heart about the situation of war in Ukraine. We're about to enter into the season of Lent, starting with Ash Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, the 2nd of March. And here we are, faced with a situation where one man with his supporters is flying in the face of everything that we learn about Jesus, particularly during the season of Lent. We are faced with war. One man, one nation or part of a nation wants to be great. It's part of our human pride. It's part of our human weakness and failure. It reminds me of the story in Luke's Gospel, chapter 22, verse um, 24, when the disciples were having an argument about who was to be the greatest. And this is what Jesus uh, had to say to them. A, dis a dispute arose among them, that is the disciples, as to which of them was considered to be greatest. Jesus said to them, the kings of the Gentiles lord it over them, and those who exercise authority over them call themselves benefactors. But you are not to be like that. Instead, the greatest among you should be like the youngest, and the one who rules like the one who serves. For who is greater, the one who is at the table or the one who serves? Is it not the one who is at the table, but I, but I am among you as one who serves? True greatness, true greatness in humanity is to be seen in service. True greatness in this world is seen on the cross. That is the glory of God. Jesus, the Son of God, who laid down his life exposed himself to violence and to abuse and to hatred and to execution. Not for himself, but for you and for me. And what we see happening in Ukraine is the direct and absolute opposite of that. The way of Jesus brings healing, wholeness, fulfillment, peace, love and joy. The way that we are witnessing um, in Ukraine is the way of destruction, mayhem, and death. True greatness is seen in the greatest love. Jesus said, greater love has no one than this, than that a person should lay down his life for his or her friends. The prophet Jeremiah wrote, should you seek great things for yourself? Seek them not. To seek great things for yourself is the way of futility and disaster. The way of pride, the way of proud ambition leads to disaster. It's only for self. The way of the servant is for others. We see Jesus on the night before he died, taking the towel, taking the basin, and going from disciple to disciple, washing their feet, even the feet of Peter who would deny him, even the feet of Judas who would betray him and lead him to his death. He made himself their servant, the servant of all, and he makes himself in an incredible way, your servant and mine. All he came for was to serve and to bring us the blessings of knowing God and living a life in his grace and love and power. May God deliver us from this proud, destructive and hateful ambition that we see playing out in the world, um, well, in Europe at least, at the moment. Friends, let us join in prayer. And so as we look upon our own lives, within our own family situations, in our own friendships, in our own work situations, let us be careful that we choose the way of the servant, because that is the way of Jesus. We submit our hearts and our way to him. 
And so God bless you. And please God, we pray, bring an end to this war. Amen. God be with you. And I pray that your week ahead will be greatly blessed.